Hi everyone. Welcome back to Frappe School. My name is Lynette Sharon and this is the 9th chapter in our advanced accounting course. By the end of this chapter, we will be able to understand how we can streamline accounting books closing with ERP Next. We know that it is very important to manage accounting operations for the smooth functioning of an organization. One of the significant operations is to manage the opening and closing of the accounting book typically which happens at the start and end of each month or as defined by the organization now let's see how we can streamline these operations in erp next closing books of accounts at the end of the financial year is a crucial step as per the accounting standard at the beginning of a new financial year both the sides of the balance sheet which are asset and liability should be tallying also the profit and loss statement composed of income and expense should start from zero the balance of the pnl should be migrated from the pnl statement to the equity group as either profit or loss will be borne by the stakeholders however The process of closing books of accounts is not as simple as making one more entry. Before creating a period closing voucher, we will have to ensure all the balance accounting entries are posted in each entry account. It can involve lots of adjustment entries like revaluation of balance in an account managed in foreign currency as per the valuation rate of that particular day. revaluation of stock balance based on actual stock balance and its value on the last day of stock some left out small adjustment entries like updating round off account balance and currency exchange gain loss account there could be more such smaller entries a company might have to make and ensure no accounting entry is pending in the last financial year Once all the adjustment entries are posted, it's time to migrate the profit and loss balance to the balance sheet account and set the balance in all the P&L accounts to zero. To access the period closing voucher list, navigate through the accounting module or via the awesome bar. We can go to the period closing voucher list and click on add. Set a posting date, which is the date when this entry should be executed. select the account usually this is the reserves and surplus account enter any remarks if applicable once done save and submit this document on submitting the period closing voucher it will make a general ledger entry this will make all your income and expense accounts zero and transfer the profit or loss balance to the closing account we should select a liability account like reserves and surplus or any revenue reserve account or into an owners capital account as closing account if book cost center wise profit or loss is enabled the net profit and loss will be booked according to the individual transactions cost center After updating a period closing voucher we should update the account frozen up to date in the account setting this will ensure no user makes accounting entries in the last financial year which can lead to the closure of books of the last financial year this brings us to the end of the 9th chapter of our advanced accounting course i hope this helped you understand how we can manage our accounting books closing in erp next seamlessly you can read more about erp next on docs.erpnext.com in the next chapter we will discuss shareholder management thank you